Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it's really important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any questions you would like to contact me um, you have all my information my readings my contact everything is right below into the YouTube description box so please do not hesitate it will be my great pleasure to assist you. Um, also if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always greatly appreciated and I do Thank you so very much. So with no further ado, let's begin. I have some very important messages coming from your angels for you. So let's reveal them and let me provide you with the messages. We have Freya, who's going to be speaking about phases and cycles. We also have Hilarion. We have Mary Magdalene. And we also have Sanat Kumara. So Let's start this off with Freya. And this is all about phases. It's about cycles within your life. So there is a beginning within every single ending. And illusions, they are revealed and they are released. So Freya here, she is going to stand before you with her shield and with her spear, keeping you safe from all harm. She works closely with the moon energy and helps us to recognize that our life is a cycle and that it is always changing. So your message here is that there's a phase of your life that just may be coming to an end. But it's really important to acknowledge that it is not the end. When one door closes, what happens to the other one? It opens. So you may have been desperate for change, but now that it's here, you could be feeling vulnerable. You have to know that the mighty goddess Freya is going to guide you. And by doing so, the illusions are now going to be revealed so that you can leave behind anything that you feel is false, that you are not comfortable with. You need to step into your peaceful warrior-like energy and you need to start welcoming those changes that you deserve because they're coming. They're coming into your life. You need to tie up all those loose ends and you need to take heart because this is a really exciting time for you when we're changing into cycles. Moving over now to Hilarion, and this is um, Hilarion's going to speaking going to be speaking. I'm so sorry to us about some divine healing over here. So um, this is about you honoring your sensitivity, not trying to hide your emotions, speaking what it is that you do have to say, but honoring yourself. It's a retreat to recharge and to heal. Your light can also support others. It's very important that you do know so. Sometimes we don't really realize how much we can actually do for other people. So the world can really seem quite overwhelming to you at some times and it's okay. It is just okay to retreat to a safe space every now and then. And to just, you know, to cleanse, to recharge your energy, to be with yourself. It's really important if you can even do it every single day. May it just be five or ten minutes by yourself. Recharge your personal, bound, uh, not boundary, but batteries. Assess your emotions. You may be feeling called to serve others also or to share your healing with them. But please, you need to ensure that you are filled up with light with love and with energy first so that you're not sacrificing your very own development for others. You are surrounded by the healing light of Hilarion and the healing angels at this time they are around you so that you can recharge and so that you can feel whole. You must start by taking care of yourself first. Now Mary Magdalene this is about teaching. Teacher awakens. So you have something important to share, but you need to follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. Mary here 
Well, we might not know it, but Mary is a rebel at heart in many, many ways. She helps those light workers who feel restricted by their opinions and others to simply step up and to speak their truth. A little bit like Joan of Arc, if you will. You have a strong desire here to share what you have learned. You may feel people are going to dismiss you or maybe even ridicule you. But do not worry. Do not let that stop you. Mary Magdalene is here to guide you through this process. Your vulnerability is actually your greatest strength. Because you are trusting the power of your soul. And that part of you can never, ever be broken. So you are a wonderful teacher. You're a wonderful leader. And the world needs you. You are being backed by heaven. So you need to step on forward and you need to share all that you have learned. Very, very important, okay? Do not, you need to follow that inner call. Often we simply do not. And we're going to move over now to Sanakumara and this is about some light activation. So this is about you shining your light. So it's the same thing over here a little bit in a different way, but I am speaking here about listening to your intuition and shining your light. Um, This is about your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. It's not a mistake. You are here to light up the world. You're here to light up your own world. You may feel that maybe you're being pushed or that there is a lot going on at once. Maybe you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all of this. And this is simply because your energy is magnetic to others and they want it in their life. So what you need to do is you need to take some time to listen to your inner voice. You need to hear it first of all, then you need to listen to it and then you need to apply it. You need to remember that the cosmic light of heaven and you need to draw it into you and really that is all you need to inspire yourself to inspire those around you upon your journey but you do need to listen to yourself okay you need to shine your light you need to listen to that internal guidance it is coming through that little voice is very important um that being said this does conclude your reading so uh, we were speaking about some healing about some cycles you're coming to an end of a cycle so a new one is going to be beginning that is really exciting um illusions are going to be revealed they're going to be released um listen to your inner voice okay if you do have any questions you would like to contact me please do so all my information is right below into the youtube description box if you have not yet um subscribed please do subscribe and have yourself a beautiful day thank you so very much for being there and i will see you tomorrow with new messages many blessings to you